Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the RepRap Perugia Mendel Iteration 2. In this video, we're going to go ahead and go through and make sure that, um, that the RepRap is measured out. Right now, it's loose and wobbly, and before we go any further, it's going to be a good idea to make sure that everything is, is nice and strong so and secure. So in order to do that, we're going to use our 234 millimeter and 290 millimeter measuring sticks. So, as you might guess, uh, every section along here and here is 234 millimeters, and these sections here are going to be 290 millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, with the back back here since it's already towards me. Now to do this, what I, what I like to do is place try to place the stick. In between the two the two vertices here and I can see right now that it does not fit so in order to in order to get it to fit I'm going to loosen up these nuts here okay and now I can slide in so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the the left section here with my thumbs now um, the way that I like to do this is I like to I like to make sure that the stick is straight. So in this case, I'm lining it up to the washers here and to the end of the of the um, of the vertex right here, and I'm making sure that that it's a straight path, straight straight across. And then I like to I like to measure it so that it's just tight enough to where it holds the stick, where it's not loose enough to where the stick falls. And it's not so tight that you actually have to pull on it rather rather hard to get it back out. So I can see right here that this this is perfect right here. So this is going to be the top section. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. See how it just fell? So I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more. Put it back in here. And I can see that it's still loose enough to where it would fall. So I'm going to use my 13 millimeter to tighten up both sides on the outside, which makes it tighter. But it's still loose enough to fall. So I'm going to tighten it up some more. Just on the outside, not the inside. When you tighten the outside, you're squeezing the vertex in. And when you tighten up the inside, you push it out. Um, it's very slight. I mean, you can really only push it about maybe a millimeter max, but that's about the measurement that we're getting out of this. So, and if you needed to come in even further, then you can loosen the insides. So in this case, I do need to, so I'm just going to loosen the inside a little bit and tighten the outside. These don't need to be super tight. Okay, now it's too, just about too snug. So I'm going to um, tighten up the inside now. Loosen the outside a little bit. Okay, that's just where I like it, and I know that the, the this section right here is nice and tight. It's not going. Any, it's it's not going to loosen up at all. And you you saw about how tight I tightened it. It's only about a half turn on each side, and that's that's perfect. Okay, and that takes care of the top section here of this uh, vertex. And now I'm going to move down to the bottom and do the do the bottom. I'm just going to move it down to the very bottom of the foot here, and I can see that it won't fit. So I'm going to have to loosen it up. And go ahead and hand tighten it, and I can see that's too loose. It kind of wobbles around down there. So then I'm going to tighten up the outside on both sides and now it's too tight so I'm going to tighten up the inside and it's still too tight so I'm going to loosen up the outside a little bit tighten the inside now it's a little too loose And now it is just right. Okay, so I know I know that that's good now. And now again, anytime you tighten up a section like this, 
it could alter other other sections and now I can see that the top is too loose so now I need to go back and loosen that up and tighten it up sort of a tedious process and just a little bit more loosen the inside tighten the outside to move it in and there we go now it's perfect and then if I check the bottom it's a little loose now okay that's good okay just a little tight so I'm going to tighten the inside Okay, that's perfect now. So both the top and the bottom section now is um, 234 millimeters. And what's also, what's more important is that you have consistency throughout the entire rep wrap. It's not so perfectly important that every section is 234 millimeters. What's important is every section is the same length. I mean, if you can, if you could do both, that's great. But, consi um, you know, consistency is more important. So... Now that, take, now that takes care of the rear side here. And now I'm gonna do this same technique for every threaded rod on the rep wrap. And when I get to the last one, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do it again. Because you know, as you tighten different sections, um, other sections may loosen or tighten. So you'll need to go back and, and recalibrate. And once you do that a second time around, um, it should be really good, and you could do it one more time just to be absolutely sure. But you don't have to spend as much time on the last on the last round. Um, so if you want, you can go ahead and um, and and skip the video and just finish this up, or you can stay tuned and, and watch me tune the rest of this rep wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and do the front now. Too loose. That's a bit too tight. That's just right. A little too tight, so I'm just going to keep tightening up the inside here. That's pretty good. I'm just be just a little tighter. Now I've been pretty fortunate as I tighten these, um, the inside isn't spinning, so because you can use two if you need to. But it actually, looks like I'm pretty lucky here. I'm not sure why. That, looks, that feels pretty good and that feels pretty good too okay so uh, that was quick front sides done so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top section now and I'm not gonna do the uh, outside I'm just gonna do the inside first and uh, that doesn't fit at all Okay, I see it tighten it up a little bit more.
Okay, now it, it was just snug to where it was it was holding on to it too much, so I'm just gonna tighten it by tightening the insides here. Oh, and that's perfect right there. So that's good right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead, um, now that I've got the inside tight, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get that tightened up. When it's perfect, I try to do the same number of turns on each side. And I'll refit it. And now it's too tight. So. Now it's too loose. Oh, perfect. All right. Okay. Now that that's all tight, um, I can go ahead and tighten up this side. So it's nice and tight. And this, um, we'll worry about the bar clamp later, but um, now just recheck it. Okay, this side's just a little bit loose. Okay, that feels good now. Okay, it's getting sturdy. All right, now that takes care of all of the uh, 234 millimeters for the first round. Next, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the 290 millimeter sides here. So, move it to the side like so. I'll we'll start with the bottom. Now, um, this is a little tricky because this needs to be uh, right between these plastic parts here and uh, there's really not a lot of room here, so. This side's going to require a little bit of eyeballing, I believe. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so that needs to be quite a bit tighter. Still quite a bit tighter. And a little bit tighter. So I'm just loosening the insides and then tightening the outsides to get it tighter. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this up on the inside and outside. And recheck it. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, and then I'll go ahead and do the side, the upper sides here. These are a bit easier because it can fit, and that's too tight. Get those fingers tight and check again. And that's um, still too tight. So I'm just going to tighten tighten the insides here. Recheck it. Okay, now it's too loose, so I'm going to tighten the outside. Still too loose. Tighten the outside a little bit more. Okay, I like it. That's good. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this side. Too tight. Still too tight, so I'm just gonna tighten the insides. I'll loosen up the outside of this a little bit on this one. Still too tight. Loosen up the outside of this one a little bit. And just, okay, I'm almost there, so I'm just going to tighten the insides a little bit. Well, I guess I was wrong, so I got to loosen it, tighten it. And 
There we go. Perfect. It's right where I want it. Okay, that side's done. Then we'll do this side. So that's way too loose. Still too loose. Okay, that's just about right. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tighten every side here. Let's check it again. Okay. A little bit loose. I'll tighten the outside. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Oh, wow, well, that's just about right. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten um, all four sides here, all four nuts. Check it again. A little loose, so I'm just going to tighten the outsides. Now, if you if you way over tighten these, you're going to have a problem with uh, with torquing the parts, and it'll actually cause warpage, and warpage will uh, will cause your measurements to be really out of whack. So you got to be careful. Not to over tighten these. Okay, that looks good. And uh, I believe this will be the last side. You can tell that that is not quite right there. Now, also when you're when you're done measuring these with the sticks. You can go through with a digital caliper and just make sure that these that these are all the right the right length if you really want to be perfect. But what I found is from from just using the sticks, I can make um, a rep wrap that can make really accurate parts. I mean, you do not need for this to be perfect. This is um, um, not as important as you might think it is. I mean, it is very important that it's all square and very straight, but um, it's not incredibly vital. I mean, these sticks really are enough. Okay, and that's good. So now it should be nice and square. Um, and you could, um, like I said, you can check it with a digital caliper. Now, but you will need a digital caliper that can go up to, um, you know, 290 millimeters. And for example, this one cannot, so I really would have a very difficult time measuring it with a six inch caliper. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is um, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back through one more time. Since, since I've gone through and I've torqued all these bars, um, it's a possibility that my other measurements may have, may have gone out of alignment. So I'm just gonna go back through and double check and make sure it's, uh, it's all square. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll build some more RepRap.